Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This time around, we'll be using the Shuriken submachine gun. It is really more of a machine pistol, I believe it even says so in the description, but whatever. Semantics. So the Shuriken is the first SMG you get in the game, you know, it's just your it's pretty standard weapon. It is burst fire, so it is a bit unique compared to what you would expect out of an SMG. Most, you know, are typically fully automatic. But, you know, it's just kind of an all-purpose weapon. It doesn't have any particular area where it excels. It's not great at long range or short range or mid range or anything. It's a very, it, I mean, it really is a low damage weapon. Now, that probably changes dramatically when you have it well modded with a damage mod, when it's upgraded, when you have an ammo power. But right now, just the bare bones weapon, it really doesn't do very good damage. The one thing that it does have is a whole lot of capacity. It has a lot of ammo in reserve, a lot of ammo in the clip. And it fires, I mean, it says it has a very fast fire rate. That's kind of disingenuous. I mean, uh, it's not spectacular. It's burst fire. It's almost semi-automatic, you know, semi-automatic burst. Just one burst, two burst, three burst sort of thing. So, but as far as mods go, you definitely want a damage mod. A high caliber barrel. This thing does not do very good damage. Mo most SMGs don't do very good damage per shot. So, all in all, you want a high caliber barrel for the entirety of the game. Now, in addition to that, that's a little trickier. I would not use the increased rounds per magazine. I mean, unless you're going to use this thing as a primary, not much reason to do so. It has a ton of ammo in both the magazine and in reserve. And the chance to not use up ammo, again, unless you're going to use this as a primary, really not much reason to do so. And even then, this weapon gets so much ammo per heatsink you pick up, unless you're in a mission that has practically no ammo drop at all, which... As it happens, the, this sequence in Mars has very little ammo, You just a very small chance for enemies to drop it, so kind of helpful here, but anywhere else, or just maybe not anywhere else, but most places, not really necessary. I would use, probably go for a scope, at least if you plan on using this weapon at very long ranges. When firing from cover, it really doesn't have any trouble hitting enemies, even at, you know, mid-range, long range. At very long range, scope might be helpful. Long range to, to very long range, I'd say scope would be helpful, but if you're going to use it and engage enemies, especially from cover, just at short range, you know, mid range, not really necessary. One interesting thing you can do is use the ultra light materials, and, you know, you can use it as a just an incredibly lightweight weapon for a powers build to help maintain max weapon, weapon, max power reduction, or use it as a tertiary weapon. Say you have a primary and a secondary, well, if you want an incredibly lightweight weapon, you can also use this SMG. Especially if you have a very high level ultralight materials mod, I mean, it'll make it weigh essentially nothing. So you can use it as just a backup weapon when you run out of ammo for your primary and secondary or whatever. But I'm going to use the chance not to consume ammo and the ultralight materials just to ensure that I can demonstrate it for as long as possible and also have max power reduction, max cooldown reduction. But let's get going. Okay. So, as far as this weapon goes, again, you know, it's just kind of an all-purpose weapon. It's kind of like, say, the Avenger or the Phalanx, but the Avenger and the Phalanx, I think, are far more effective, at least baseline, than this weapon. Ah, uh, I don't know what just happened there. You know, once this weapon is fully modded and upgraded and you have an ammo power and whatever, I'm sure it does plenty of damage, but for right now, really not so much. I may as well be shooting spitballs at these guys. And I wish they would, you know, stop hiding. Kind of annoying. This weapon is also very, very poor at getting shots through mail slots. It has, again, vertical spread, so... And it can't really be counteracted. You can't, like, aim downwards to, to put more shots on target. I mean, maybe if you have time dilation or something from a soldier. And to the point that this is rather pointless. Let us just finish these guys off. It takes a lot of shots to kill somebody. A lot of shots. I mean, it has a ton of ammo, but because of how many shots, at least at this level, it takes to kill an opponent, it's actually rather inefficient. I'm already consuming... so much ammo. Like, half my clip. I could see a scope being useful with this weapon. I believe in target practice, it made a difference. 
Again, if you'd like to check that series, I'm sure I already put in a link. Also, this is Insanity. I always forget to say that. This is Insanity. So all of this is being demonstrated on Insanity. I would like to conserve a little bit of ammo for the Centurion. Alright, here we go. Show yourself. Oh, Centurion. Oh, you. There are a lot of guys in here. No detonation from that, really? Oh. Should be Guardians coming soon, unfortunately. And smoke. Oh, Centurion. <laughs> This weapon really doesn't have a niche. It's not great in short range, it's not great at long range. I don't really know why you choose this weapon. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people who like it. Especially when it's upgraded, but right now, you'd be much better off, I would say, with, you know, an Avenger. Or something. Yes, this weighs much less than an Avenger, but still. And yeah, I'm, I'm pushing through and everything, but I'm also using powers pretty considerably at this point. These guys are going to be problematic. So, I mean, teach their own. If you like this weapon, go for it. Especially when it's upgraded. Definitely could make a great fallback weapon. But I don't know what I would really use it for. Myself. It's not really my kind of weapon. Alright, Centurion. So, I mean, it takes a lot of burst to take out the shields. Something like... Seven bursts or something to take him out from full shields. So that's nothing spectacular. It's not as if this weapon is great at taking out shields or anything. I believe the Avenger took maybe 17 shots or something. So it's nothing special. Stop dodging everything. And we are essentially out of ammo, guys. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a good